Hello, hello, my beautiful ladies. Welcome to my channel. And today, as you can see from the title, we are having another unboxing videos of fragrances where I'm going to give you first impression in regards to this bunch of fragrances here. I have also a few samples, as you can see here now. But uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Emilia. We are all about perfumes, fragrances, beauty, makeup, what products to use, personal care. And if you're a returning visitor to my channel, thank you so much. And welcome, 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 warm, warm welcome from Cyprus. And this time I'm going to show you a few of the newest additions to my collection. As uh, you know, if you have been following on my ch me on my channel, I'm constantly adding bits by bits. Um, obviously, after reviewing <laughs> a few of them. And um, without further ado, let's go into it. But before that, if you have forgotten to subscribe to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button as well to hit the notification bell so you stay up to date with my newest video releases. And um, also, I would appreciate any feedback, any like, any comment, suggestions below in the comment box. So let's get into it. As you can see from the box, I have here quite a variety of fragrances. Um, some of them obviously are going to be blind buys. Some of them are brand new and some of them, or actually it's one of them, it's going to be a repurchase. But obviously since it's a repurchase, that means I love it. So the first one that I'm going to pick it's going to be Trusalvi. Um, I heard a lot about it and it seems to be a very interesting fragrance and uh, also the bottle is very elegant, feminine. Um, you know, we have this pink, gold, the white, the black, so it's very interesting. Um, and obviously, as I was reading on Fragrantica, the notes are amazing, um, interesting combination. And let's open it up. Let's check this beauty here more close. Um, it has also this detail here. So a very interesting bottle. Let's see how it's... All right, so you have to remove the cup. I thought it's coming from here. All right, so the spray is here. Um, the quantity that I have, it's 2. fluid ounce and it's 60 milliliter. The fragrance itself smells really nice from the bottle. Now I'm going to spray it. Wow. So the atomizer, it's, it's really good. So it's easy to spray. All right. So what I'm going to get here straight in my nose, it's powdery. Powdery accords. Uh, but besides that, we have leather, violet that stands out. Um, but also we have aromatic, fresh, spicy, patchouli, green, uh, musky, floral, and lavender um, accords. If we go to uh, the fragrance, this is a recent um, release from the fragrance house. It was launched a few months ago, back in 2021, and we have two women as um, the perfumers that created this beauty. We are talking about Julie Mass and Violin Cola. Top notes we have here, a very interesting one, as I mentioned, and the bottle itself, I think it kind of like really um, symbolizes what's going on in the fragrance. So it goes through different layers, unexpected ones, because one of the notes here is tomato, right? I don't think anyone would have thought to include tomato in a fragrance. But then we have Neroli and Italian Mandarin. The fragrance itself, as mentioned, was created in Italy. So therefore the Italian Mandarin as well. Then we have middle notes of Lavender, Dahlia and Jasmine. And the base notes are Sud, Violet and Patchouli. Uh, this is a new fragrance for women that was exclusively created uh, to the company by Julie Mas and Violaine Collas, as uh, mentioned. And they have tried to evoke an Italian olfactory through the 
series of quintessential ingredients. Um, we do have freshness from the mandarin. We have the bold scent of Nerole, which melt together into this calming lavender, the florals as well, like dahlia and jasmine. And, you know, this again, it's a fragrance that is dedicated to a free contemporary femininity. And, you know, it's, it's, I would say it's going to be a hypnotic, velvety uh, fragrance. I would expect to last long because, you know, it's, it's powdery, it's, it's strong, it's, you know, it's here um, around your, your face. So I just apply it on my hand and I smell it here around my, my face. So it's, you know, there's going to be some sillage. So I would expect also the longevity to be to be long. And, you know, the bottle itself is also amazing. It has this perfectly cylindrical bottle decorated with glossy painted stripes in matte here, if you can see, with pink, black, and white. And then we have a golden metal lid. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a real piece of Italian design art. The fragrance itself is available in three different sizes. We have 30 milliliters, 60 milliliter like mine, and 90 milliliters. And as mentioned, the fragrance comes in the form of Eau de Parfum. Um, there are also sets available, uh, which come with silk body emulsion. So, you know, you, you choose. Um, the other fragrances that I know from this house, it's Trussard di Donna, for which I have a copy or an inspired by fragrance, um, which I really, really like. And it's so difficult to find in Cyprus. I tried retail stores, I tried outlet stores and wherever I go and search for it, it says out of stock, everybody's waiting for it. So hopefully I'll manage to put my hands on it because I really liked it. I tested it also in shops, uh, but till then I'm going to use the copy that I have. Uh, another fragrance that I tested from Trussardi's house, it's My Name, and that one sounds um, and smells as well very interestingly, so I might add it to my collection in the near future. But till then, I'm going to take advantage of this and enjoy this fragrance. So it was Trussardi or the Parfum, and we're going to put it here as to see the beauty fragrances that I have here. Then the next fragrance, it's going to be the repurchase um, that I have included in this um, shopping box. It's uh, nonetheless by Pur Blanca by Avon. And here is my other one, which is almost gone. I absolutely love, 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 love this fragrance. I cannot say how much I adore it. So this is the new one, it's full. And it's a fragrance that I knew since I was in high school. Um, obviously, I couldn't uh, buy it because back then in schools, we were not allowed to wear, wear fragrances. So that was one of the reasons. And then I moved uh, to Cyprus after my studies. So later on, I ended up buying it. This one, actually, it's uh, purchased in Morocco. Um, so it's even more um you know sentimental and symbolic to me um so it means a lot it's an edt but on my skin lasts pretty long so i would have said initially it's an eau de parfum but no it's an eau de toilette and it's a floral fresh uh musky rose powdery um fragrance it's very nice to be worn in springtime and summer it's not glowing. Um, it's it's beautiful. It's it's a woman that is you know showing her femininity with this fragrance, and we have here the creator of this fragrance, Harry um, Fremont. In the top notes, we have freesia, uh, water mint, and ylang ylang. So very floral. If you like florals, I can only recommend it. Then middle notes are water lily, peony, and white rose. So again, a bunch of florals. And base notes are heliotrope, white sandalwood, and musk. So there's, I would say, it's a bouquet 
of flowers. It's a very, very old um, fragrance in the collection of Avon. It's since 2003. And to me, you know, it's, it's such a feminine, sensual fragrance. Again, it's something that I like to wear all year round, but mostly in summertime. It's clean, it's simple, it's floral. Um, you know, it, it smells a bit like sensitive uh, fabric um, softener or a creamy blend shower gel. Um, it's like also very inoffensive. Um, it's not going to, you know, annoy anyone. It's a crowd pleasing fragrance as well, a compliment getter um, fragrance. Um, it's also something that you might consider using after a shower because it's, you know, very feminine, very clean, as mentioned. And, you know, you can say maybe it's a bit also like baby powdery, uh, but in a good way. So it's um, a lovely, lovely fragrance. And I'm so glad that I managed to, to purchase a new one because, as you can see, I've been using a lot, a lot, a lot. And... It's one of my favorite fragrances in my collection. Then moving forward, I have a fragrance that's, you know, it's so much hyped on this channel, on YouTube. Everyone is talking about it. Everyone has it in their collection. Everyone is just saying, Elisa, girl of now. Anywhere. Any channel that you see, you'll find it. So here we have in my collection, the newest edition added, um, which is Girl of Now, Elisa for Women. It's an Eau de Parfum and I have the 1.6 fluid ounce, 50 milliliters. Let's give it a look briefly on the box. It's very beautiful, this flower detail here with gold. So very elegant, feminine, chic. Anything else I can say about this box? No. It's also here sealed, so that's how we open it. And check these details. So they actually spent time on the design, which I adore. Um, the bottle itself is also superb, superb. I absolutely love the bottle. Check these details, this juice in it. I really, really hope it's, it smells as everyone raves about it and hypes it. <sighs> this is a beauty. So what we get here, it's nutty accords. We have almond, um, nuts, we have sweetness, we have fruits, woody um, accords, some citrusiness, some amber. Again, the color, we have this ambery, um, some vanilla, some florals. And here on the box, it says um, the spirit of the girl of now in a fragrance. Um, an addictive note of almond textured with orange blossom and patchouli. So it should last because we have patchouli. Um, I can't say enough about this fragrance. It's really, really beautiful. Um, it's a fragrance that was launched back in 2017. And it was created by Dominique Ropion and Sophie Lab. Um, the top notes here, it would be pistachio, pear, and mandarin orange. Middle notes, we have almond, orange blossom, and magnolia. And the base notes, we have almond milk. So it's a lot of almonds because we have almond and almond mink. Then we have tonka bean, patchouli, and kashmiran. Um, the patchouli will give its lasting power because usually that's why they use it in the base. So it's really, really nice. Um, I love also tonka bean in it. Um, Elisab has a lot of fragrances. We have Elisab Le Parfum, Elisab Le Parfum Royal, Elisab Le Parfum in white, um, Le Parfum or uh, the Parfum Intense, and so on. So there are loads of loads of options. And also they are flankers. One of them was also recently um, launched. Um, one of the other ones that is really, really hype again, it would be Elisab Girl of Now Shine. And if I know well, it had the difference between this mainly is that it has uh, also pineapple in it. 
So I might test that one because it sounds interesting. But there is also a uh, girl of now forever. So there are a few options out there. Again, what I would recommend, go out, test them, see which one you like um, the most. And the newest edition would be Elisa Girl of Now um, Lovely. It comes with the same design, just the juice and obviously the notes are going to be different. So you have the same packaging here, the same leaves, just the juice, it's pink. So be careful to that in case you wanted to buy this and you might have ended up with the other one because obviously there can be confusions. And it's it smells a total delicious almond uh, and you know some sugary or syrup on top and some woody vanilla notes. Very suitable I would say for um, cold and winter days and you know it's, it's something that I would not wear in in the summer. I found it too strong. Um, it kind of like gives me this gourmand like uh, fragrance um, obviously because of the almonds here that we have and I'm I'm pleased with this fragrance so far. I like the packaging, I like the bottle, juice, um, here also as you can see the details at the bottom it's really really pretty so I'm happy that I went for it and let's turn the box so we can see the beauty here and this was Elisa Girl of Now or the Parfum. And another fragrance that I went for this month um, was Ariana Grande. Thank you. Next. So this is again an Eau de Parfum. Comes in 1.7 fluid ounce or 50 milliliter or ml. Um, the bottle is simplistic. It has this heart shape, which actually is inside as well. And um, it's a fragrance that... I heard again a lot about it. Um, it has coconut in it. Um, if you're not familiar with uh, Ariana Grande, you know, you, you can search her online. Um, she's a celebrity and uh, this fragrance therefore would go into the celebrity fragrance category. And we have here a beautiful, beautiful presentation. Um, all Ariana Grande's fragrances are unique. They have this um, plasticky outer cover. The cloud version, it comes in a white cloud and the fragrance in it. Um, we have other fragrances from Ariana Grande in the collections and I might do a video with my entire collections that I have so far from Ariana Grande, but we really, really love it. Um, my girls, they're crazy about it. It has this interesting cup. I think you can repurpose it, reuse it. I'm thinking maybe like a picture might fit in, but we will see what we will do with the box. And this is the bottle itself. It's very cute, pinky, very girly. And also the cap here, so we can see. Okay, so what do we have here? It's sweet coconut, fruity, vanilla, almond uh, accords. But it kind of like gives me also this towery pickly a bit, um, but it's it's beautiful. I, I like it. It's not something that I like. Ugh, no, it doesn't put me away. And it's a floral fruity gourmand fragrance for women. It was launched back in 2019, and we have Jérôme Epinette as the nose behind this fragrance, and we have. Um, some fruits in the top notes, such as raspberry and pear. Middle notes are coconut and pink rose. And then we have macaroons and musk. Um, so very sweet, girly, pinky fragrance, I would say. If I would have to determine a color, yes, obviously the, <laughs> the bottle is the best representation because yes, it is a pinky, pinky fragrance. Um, I do detect a bit of rose, uh, the coconut as well, this creamy kind of like coconut. So it's um, not that, you know, like um, Versace's Crystal Noir's um, EDP where you have that spicy coconut. No, this is the opposite. Um, of course, some people will say that this fragrance smells like pickles on them. So again, it's something that I do get here. 
and you know it, it's a really nice fragrance so for me i would have to test it and see how it's going to to work on my skin see if it really becomes that pickly fragrance that many talk about and the last fragrance that i purchased is nonetheless than Alha Marain, uh, Amber uh, Wood Gold Edition. And we have here a beautiful, beautiful fragrance that I was told. Um, it's, it's really, really worth it. Um, it has a beautiful box, as you can see. I have received also a sample from it. So I'm going to tell you the notes from here. Uh, because it has it but let's open it up i kept uh, this fragrance sealed so we can open it up together sorry for the noise but bear with me for a second so we can enjoy the beauty there we go so now you can see it has this metal cover um keep in mind that there are also additional amber wood uh, one of them kind of like is a copy of tom ford's tobacco and vanille. Uh, so if you like that one, you might consider to buy um, Amber Wood, uh, which it's much, much affordable. Um, I bought this one at 65 euros and it's a big quantity. And uh, what I really like is that it's considered to be an affordable niche uh, fragrance category. Now let's open it up. We have this protective silicone. Let me just and the box is absolutely amazing. It has this velvety um, coverage here inside. So it's a beauty. And voila, we have the fragrance. It's a real beauty. And this fragrance is from the Oriental Middle Eastern category. So you have to actually love them. Um, even though, you know, many consider it, it's, um, it's a women's fragrance. Actually, it's a unisex. And I absolutely love it. I'm so, so happy about it. And just let's give a bit of attention to the bottle as well. So we have this metal cover. Um, it has also the name here, Amber Wood Gold Edition, as we can see. It's beautiful. And then you have this transparent bottle. We have stripes here. It's really, really beautiful fragrance. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, it has sweet fruit, ozonic, um, aquatic, amber, fresh, powdery, as well as a lot of woody, uh, vanilla, musky accords. And um, it's an amber vanilla fragrance for women and men, so unisex. And it was launched back in 2018. We have top notes, bergamot, green notes. The middle notes are melon sweet notes, uh, pineapple and amber. And we have base notes of musk, vanilla and woody notes. So it's an absolute delicious fragrance. And what I really, really like is that both men and women can wear it. So if we are looking at the fragrance that can be shared in the household, that's something that I can really recommend. Um, there are several options as well from Al Haramain uh, perfume. There is uh, the Amber Wood Tobacco Edition, there is Amber Wood. Then there is also Amber Wood Ruby Edition or Rouge, as they call it. Then there is also the Blue. So there are plenty, plenty of fragrance uh, categories available as well from this. And uh, what I would like to highlight is that the Rouge edition was compared to Baccarat Rouge. That's how it smells. Some of them, they say it's a copy. I'm, I'm not really sure because obviously I didn't have the chance to, to buy it. I would definitely say that this is a signature scent worthy. And it's a fragrance for, at least from how I smell it, for cooler weather as well. Um, I still would use it, let's say, also in early spring, I'm not sure in summer. And the uh, one we have, I'm going to show you also the sample that I got, which is really uh, nice as well. So it resembles the box, as we could see. And it comes in a generous quantity. And what I like is 
that they did list the notes. So we have bergamot and green notes in the top. Then in the middle notes, we have melon, pineapple, and amber as well, gourmand. And the base notes are woody vanilla um, musk. I've tested it a bit earlier. And what really stands out for me was the citrusy notes as well, melon, pineapple, and then we have the woody uh, notes. So I really, really enjoy it. And all I can expect is to see how much it, it lasts, but from the testing point, I would suggest and would be under the impression that it's going to last at least somewhere between eight to 10 hours because it's very strong. So you have to be really, really careful how much you are going to spray from this beauty. And given the price, the quality of it, I would say that it's definitely worth the investment. Um, plus you would have a fragrance that is categorized as a niche. So uh, again, it, it's a unique fragrance. I absolutely love it. And, um, you know, it, it's something that I hope that I will be able to enjoy soon. And once I have tested it and have more idea, more um, understanding of this beauty, this jewelry piece of art, I would say, then I will give you guys more details. But for now, that's it. So this is my newest um, fragrance collection um, from this month. I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to give your thumbs up, like, share if you haven't, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And always, always welcome any suggestion, any feedback, any comment down in the comment box. Till next time, take care and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye for now.